It's the return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. And the boys on the attack. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good? Fam, bam. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, it is the return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. And the boys on the attack. <laughs> Mac Lethal has finally come out of the woodwork. He has finally emerged from the shadows that he was lurking in to drop us a brand new disc on Tom McDonald that is called Tom McDonald is a Nazi and uh, let me just say your boy did not see that coming uh, but anyway uh, corny jokes aside yo it's been a good minute I feel like man this is 2019 all over again but hey it is what it is I'm glad to see that lethal is back up on the scene I'm glad to see that my man is still you know alive and well my man is still kicking still doing his thing thing you know what I'm saying and uh, I like how he's opening this thing off already. He's got a quote up here saying, I was minding my own business, which he was. Hog fam, prepare to have your feet fees hurt because, you know, because you know your boy spits nothing but truth, nothing but facts, actual factuals. And as your boy would say, facts don't care about your feelings. So stay fake woke. Um, I say all this because as of recently who hasn't been keeping um mac lethal's life situation out of his mouth well that is tom case in point look at god mode where tom said oh i'm not gonna do any more diss tracks because the last person i dissed i ruined his life i'm the reason why he got a divorce this guy has the nerve to claim credibility or credit for lethal's uh life you know what i mean going down the tubes he's He's claiming credit credit for something that is out of his control, and that is Lethal getting a divorce. Now, I hope that Lethal brings up Nova, and I hope that he brings up their marital status, and I hope Hogfan get pissed off and butthurt over that, because here's the thing, and your boy Tom is pro 1A, so anything goes, you know what I'm saying? And uh, here's the thing, when it comes to, to battle rap and diss tracks, there's absolutely no rules, period. No exceptions. No rules means no rules, no holes barred, anything goes, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you have the facts or not. If you have facts, that is an added bonus. And yes, it does help add credibility to your diss track that your opposition may not be able to respond to because if they do, oh, they're a little bit suspect. But... A diss track, what a diss track really is, as someone who's a big fan of rap and hip-hop and has seen his fair share of battle raps and listened to his fair share of diss tracks, you don't necessarily have to have the facts. You just have to come in with the best, hardest-hitting bars. You know what I mean? That your opposition will have difficulty in responding to. That's what a diss track is. It's nothing more than a war of words. It's in the name, diss track disrespect you got to come in you know what i mean being as rude and as crude and as crass as possible not giving a fuck about anyone's fifis you know what i'm saying and remember it's just words at the end of the day god made dirt dirt don't hurt so words only have as much power as you give them all right if we're gonna believe that too then we can't be soft and be little hypocrites when it comes to hearing things that we may not like because like i said in battle rap anything goes anything goes nothing is off the table man again it's a war of words you do and say absolutely anything and everything to get your opposition to respond to you you throw in everything including the kitchen sink that's how battle rap works that's how diss track works and if you can't understand that then battle raps then the battle rap scene the diss track season scene obviously those are not your thing they ain't your lane so therefore your ass needs to go i'm just saying all right because your boy is here for it, man. We're here for the battle rap. We're here for the bars. We're here for the shots. So without further ado, like to hear here. 
Let's be clear about one thing. You started it, you sneak dissing pussy. <laughs> Not wrong. Already out the gate with some facts. He did start it with Tom, that is, did start it with the sneak dissing. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. I thought it was funny too. We already squashed this dude. What are you doing? Here's a backstory. A couple years ago, Tom McDonald got his feelings hurt and made a track towards me. Tried to diss me in a rapping war. Tried to bait me into going back and forth, but I really didn't have the passion for it. Okay, okay, okay. I like what my man um, is doing here. He's giving you the, uh, the 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 history and he's giving you the backstory of what caused this whole thing. So it started with Tom taking little digs, little pot shots at Lethal, getting him to go, you know, get involved in a little back and forth, which they did. And yes, Lethal, to be fair, did walk away from that back and forth, but that's because, you know, real life got in the way. So, you know, and there was something he could have done about that. You know what I mean? Hey, priorities, man. I get it. Let's go. So I made one song and I had to ignore it. I don't want to sound rude. I just think he's mad corny. I didn't want to give it energy. A transphobic, homophobic, culture vulture rapping about white supremacy isn't worthy of facing me lyrically. But I'm... Whew. I mean, he, he coming in strong with, with, the, with the scheme and the bars and everything. But I mean, he makes some points that I necessarily don't, don't agree with. And uh, we ain't going to get into all that. We ain't making this a political video. It is what it is. Um, whether I agree with his views on, on these things or not, doesn't matter. Lethal is still coming in hot. You know what I mean? Like I said, dope flow, dope cadence. I like this beat that he's rapping on too. It's perfect for what he's doing. So anyway. I'm getting tired of watching this dude embarrass hip-hop's history And the other day he dropped a new song and for some reason he was kissing me Fine, fight contract sign Normally I wouldn't pay this any mind But you made a nine minute song about your personal life Why the fuck you mentioned And he is not wrong And he is totally justified in putting this out Because like he said, dude is still bringing up shit from years ago You know what I mean? Again, uh, the, the personal life business of Mac Lethal, his divorce and everything Yes, marital status is public record. You can look it up on the internet, which means Tom's marital status is also fair game. You know what I'm saying? It's also fair game when it comes to battle rap and diss tracks. And again, if you don't understand that, then thanks for outing yourself as not being a true rap and hip hop fan. Okay, because rap and hip hop, contact sport. You know what I'm saying? It's all competition. You know what I mean? Battles are part of the genre, whether it's the GJ battles, you know, dance battles, or nowadays with the with the rap battles, that's just how it goes. Can't understand that? You're in the wrong lane, Chief. You got you got to go. Your mind. I've been minding my business and buying some property. Why are you dissing me? Why you take shots at me, man? Are you buying prescriptions again? Is it lines that you're sniffing? It's gotta be. Fuck it. Ding ding. Let's begin. You got weak. Basically calling Tom out for holding on to old glories, which he is. He's holding. On. And, and here's the thing. Okay, you don't want to battle people no more, but yet you keep bringing up that one battle that you technically won. So which is it, Tom? Do you not want to battle? Do you want to forget about that whole battle issue that, that you that, or the issue you have with it, which are which are one battle that, that you won because you feel so bad because according to you, you feel like you ruined someone's life because of it. If that's the case, why do you keep talking about it? Obviously, you don't feel that bad about it. So here we are. Anyway. Skin. We followed each other on IG. We DM'd. We even agreed that we would be friends. Oh, he said it, it did follow we follow each other on IG, but then I think Lethal put an updated. We followed each other on IG. We. Oh, uh, Tom unfollowed me. <laughs> Bruh. I'm saying. I'm saying. You won that battle, so why are you in your fields, dog? Why did you block Lethal? I don't. I don't get that at all, man. That's some. That's some silly shit right there. That's some kid shit right there. But anyway. We DM'd, we even agreed that we would be friends. Thomas, we already squashed it. Last time I took the high road. This time I'm getting toxic. First off, your music sucks. Your and, and I can't say I blame Lethal for for going the uh, toxic route, man. Because I mean, yeah, if someone keeps speaking, it's like what Adam said. You know what I mean? During his whole thing with between him and Church and everything, or whoever Adam has 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 beef with. You know what I mean, when people keep talking about you, you can only be quiet for so long. You can only take the high road for so long. But then if people won't shut up about you, eventually you got to come out. You got to say something. You got to stand up for yourself and say something. You know what I mean? In order to get these people to leave you alone and, you know, basically just shut the hell up. I mean, bro, look at look at what happened when I when I put out my my diss track to Ryan Upchurch. I mean, the dude basically left me alone after that. So anyway. 
You're goofy as fuck, your beats are trash I bet a million dollars cash that I could easily beat your ass Your girlfriend is a skeezer with diseases She got fleas and crabs She you I know Hog Fam are gonna be really pissed about that one But like I said, you bring up Lethal's divorce Which means you bring up Lethal's uh, now ex-wife and everything You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but Nova, that means Nova is now fair game and Nova is fair game regardless because uh, Nova is an artist. I mean, I'm pretty sure Nova knows how to rap. And if her being mentioned by Mac Lethal really bothers her that much, I'm sure she wouldn't have any problems with writing a diss to Mac Lethal. So I don't want to hear about no Nova being, you know, an innocent victim and everything or Nova being completely, you know, uh, harmless and all this and that. She is not. OK, she is not a damsel in distress. She's not a little snowflake. You know what I'm saying? She's not a dainty little snowflake. You know what I mean? She's in the rap game too. And um, so, I mean, hey, she, she fair game, bro. And she like she fair game anyway because, again, Tom brought up Lethal's divorce, brought up Lethal's ex-wife. So it is what it is, man. What goes around comes around. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Let's go. Used to go to Russell Simmons' house and eat his ass. No Rockefeller. <laughs> Known for Rockefeller. She was a group. Said Nova Rockefeller is known for rocket Rockefellers. <laughs> I have to give Lethal that one. That, that, that was pretty funny. Groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. Said she was a groupie over at Def Jam and at Rockefeller. Damn. Nerdy cuck. I wouldn't. Or Rockefeller, excuse me. Touch that dirty slut for thirty bucks. You're not even. Said he wouldn't touch that dirty slut for thirty bucks. Damn. For Rockefeller, she was a groupie over at Def Jam and a hoe at Rockefeller. You nerdy cuck, I wouldn't touch that. Yeah, see, he called it Rockefeller, but I think he means Rockefeller, which is Jay, what was Jay Z's uh, label. Damn. That dirty slut for thirty bucks. You're not even in the top ten rappers. Your girl is. Damn, is that supposed to be Nova right there with a bunch of dudes surrounding her? <laughs> they about to run a train on Nova. Damn. <laughs> Even in the top 10 rappers, your girl is fucked. Oh my, oh my God. She's vaginally infected. I'll get back to her in a second. First, I'm smashing you on this record. I'll punch you so hard, you'll see three of me. You'll say, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Half your fucking fan base wishes they could buy slaves. I donate my money to veterans. Okay, what you... Dude, I have to admit, that was actually a really dope impression of, of Tom that Mac just did right there. I had to give it to him, man. He, he he coming in hard and raw on this one, man. He ain't holding nothing back. And I don't expect him to because, again, Lethal is, is from that battle rap scene. You know what I mean? He That's how he got to where he is. You know what I mean? His numbers are where they are because he is one of the best battle rappers in the battle in the battle rap scene. Bruh. So this tracks are, are nothing to him, man. Let's go. You want a peppermint? Don't complain about it, just do it. Quit patting yourself on the back for the camera lens. You're just Doja Cat for Nazis, a feminine racist on every beat. They call you an anti-woke rapper because your music puts everybody to sleep. Ooh! Ooh! That was that was a dirty bar. So they call you an anti-woke rapper because you should be putting everybody to sleep. Damn! I mean... Bro, that, 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 was, that was a dirty bar, but that, 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 was, a, that was a solid bar nonetheless. Everything that your lame ass do If Dave Matthews had braids and a face tattoo And made a song called If I was a gay black Jew We would all be like Hey that's you Ooh, Damn Damn I mean Tom did do something That was pretty sus And again Going back in February He was promoting that That song he did With, with Ben Shapiro Who is Who is Jewish Um <clears throat> Cause I guess he's not a whole Jew But I mean That's a whole nother issue Um But anyway Um He Used basically Black History Month by by promoting his a uh, song he did with with a with a with a Jewish dude. I mean, that's I'm sorry, man, but that that's, that's that was pretty sketch. That's pretty sketch. Anyway. And like you represent the blue collar working man, rocking army boots when you live in Woodland Hills and wear five thousand dollar Versace suits. You'll never fuck with Mac. Look at this blonde bitch surrounded by shirtless African American actors. What you about? I mean. Can't say the, the 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 dudes around him are shirtless because it looks like they're all wearing a bunch of tank tops. I mean that, that that's, that's all tank tops, my guy. So I mean, kind of had a receipt there, but not really. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, if you were to say sleeveless, I mean, I, I would give you a pass on that. But you said shirtless, so I, I can't give you a pass on that one, man. Because uh, again, receipts are everything, dog. Um, but 
I mean, he still has a point though. Look at this dude surrounding himself by, by, by a bunch of these these bruds, these bruds in order to get him some uh, some uh, street cred and whatnot. And I'm sorry, but I'm just not buying it, man. I mean, we all know you be living it up in the in the uh, suburbs, you know what I'm saying? In L.A. and everything, and uh, yeah, and you yeah you wearing the army fatigues and the combat boots and everything. Yeah, I'm just having trouble finding that. You know, I'm trouble uh, believing that. I should say. American actors, what you about to get gang banged in an episode of Black? Your fans cheer when planes fly over Gaza dropping bombs. I'm a 52 year old soccer mom. I hate rap, but you're awesome, Tom. Fake fraud. And that's what Hog Fan be. A good portion of Hog Fan be like, yeah, I don't like rap. I'm, I don't like hip hop, but I like Tom. You know what I mean? Tom Tom puts out good music and everything. And those are the ones who be crying and bitching whenever someone disses Tom and be like, well, why does he have to respond to them? Those are the ones that you know for a fact. Yes, they're not real rap and hip hop fans. You know what I mean? And they're not ashamed to tell you that. Yeah, they're, they're not about the rap and hip hop uh, lot, way of life and everything. So, poser, liar, charlatan, and grifter at heart. You have no fucking dignity. You'll do anything just to get on the charts. Bitch, I'm a star. Kicking these bars, burning his body, I'll rip it apart. Tom, did you call yourself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> Talking like you. Did he call himself the white version of Kendrick Lamar? Is that what that was? See, finally a rapper is saying something that matters. This guy is... Is this guy fire or trash? The white Kendrick Lamar. If you don't... What? If you don't cry, you savage. Yeah, Tom McDonald, the white Kendrick Lamar. Damn, bruh. Bruh. Lamar. <laughs> Talking like you kicked down doors for the indie movement, bitch. You stole that same blueprint from rhyme sayers and strange music. I paved Ooh. your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin Gaye's father. I'm killing my own son. Damn, damn that Marvin Gaye bar, dude. That was that was that was dirty. That was all kinds of dirty. There's a story about a boy named Tom. He had a rich dad and a racist mom. Nova. Daddy. Here, Nova. Daddy. Come here, girl. Sit. Aw, oh, good girl. Here's a treat. <laughs> Daddy. Here's the truth that you can't run from. No can do told me when I'm fighting monsters, don't let it make you become one. Your ego's too big, it's gotta be deflated. Trying to say political rap is a genre you created, you uh, yeah, and that's see that's something I will agree with with Mac Lethal on wholeheartedly. Tom did not create the political rap genre, and Mac is about to go through a whole list of artists. You know what I'm saying? That came long before Tom, which outs Tom as being a fake rap and hip hop head. Gotta be fucking kidding me! You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique X? Well, not just Ice Cube, but the whole N.W.A. All right, Dre, Easy E, the whole MC Ren, the whole NWA camp. It was all a lot of their stuff was all, was mostly political stuff. You know what I mean? That was going on around that time when they came up. But yeah, Ice T definitely one of them. Um, and then let me see, let me go back to who else he listed. Played trying to say political rap is a genre you created. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You ever heard of Ice T, Ice Cube, Immortal Technique, X Clan, or Public Enemy? Of yep, Public Enemy, Immortal Technique. Of course you have it. You know nothing about the culture. Second Amendment. Facts. He knows nothing about the culture. That is 100% facts. And some of the Hog fam don't know anything about the culture either. They they out themselves too whenever they ask. Well, why does Tom need to respond to this person when they diss him, or respond to that person when they when they when they, when they diss him and all this and that? He doesn't have to do that. Yeah. Well. Again, that's part of the culture, you know what I'm saying? And we don't make the rules, we just we just play by them, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they call the rap game the rap game. You know what I'm saying? You're either built for the game or you're not. And if you're not, then you are in the wrong lane. Just saying. Amendment right guns coming about the holster. Put the pistol in your mouth. Name one song off of Illmatic before I pulled the trigger. I bet you he doesn't know a single Nas song. Not a single one, I bet you. You want to be American so bad that you won't even rep your own flag and now you're getting toe tagged on every single song you use So you want to be American so bad you won't even rep your own flag. I mean facts Tom always waves his 
wave the American flag, which don't get me wrong. Yes, okay, yeah, you live here, so yeah, it makes sense for you to wave the American flag and everything. But I mean, dog, don't don't deny your your Canadian roots. I mean, yeah, I was born and raised here in you know in California and everything. You know what I mean? So your boy, you know what I mean, is is all American too. But I mean, I'm not gonna deny my 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 Mexican roots. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway. That same dead flow, your girls like Emily Willis, a brain dead hoe. I should have known that you're a damn snake. The type of person that'll look right in a man's face and offer him a handshake. Call a truce, declare peace on the landscape, then diss his family life just to entertain your fan base. On God mode, trying to rap like Jesus, but in real life, you act like Judas with pussy cat like movements. I feel damn, 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 he come straight Judas. Say, man, you. God mode, man, you rapping like Jesus, but you act like a straight Judas. I mean, tell me why Tom has a t-shirt of Jesus Christ on it, and tell me why Jesus has six fingers. Please make that make sense. I'm just saying. Feel like Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus But I got whiplash so drums make me smack my students The YouTube diss tracks, they really ain't my vibe When I battle a rapper shit, I'd rather do it live I'll bet 50,000 bucks to the charity of your choice That you won't Yeah, say, you know, the YouTube rap scene really ain't my thing You know what I mean? If we were to battle, I would rather do it live You know what I'm saying? And yo, I would Let me know what your favorite charity is I, I would gladly donate to your favorite charity of choice If we were to battle live Bro, I would love to see them battle live. I think that would be dope. Look me in the eyes and put clarity in your voice and say the things about me that you said in all your diss tracks when I'm a foot away from you and you might just get bitch slapped. Yeah, we could battle on. Ooh, man. He's talking about, yo, you saying all these things about me in, in, in your diss tracks. Again, yeah, I mean, you can argue God Mode was a response to Up Church or not, but either way, whether he was responding to church or not, there was no reason for him to, again, and yes, you, you can make the argument too that uh, well, Ryan also mentioned Mac Lethal, right? He did, but he I don't believe Church, as far as I know, never mentioned Lethal's wife, never mentioned the dude's divorce and all this and that and everything. So the reason why I'm getting on Tom more, well, because I mean this is between Tom and Mac, you know what I'm saying? And yes, Tom, in every opportunity that he would get, he would and when it, when the conversation would, would bring up the topic of diss tracks and everything and why Tom won't do diss tracks. Tom kept saying over and over and over, I won't do diss tracks because the last person I dissed, I ruined their life. And, you know, I'm the reason why they, they got a divorce and all this and that. So I was like, dog, you need to shut the hell up and stop bringing up that old shit, dude. Just say, you know, you don't want to do diss tracks anymore. And that's fine. You don't have to explain yourself. It's just, if you don't want to do diss tracks, don't do diss tracks. That's fine. Whatever. But if you're going to bring up somebody's past, right, and you're going to bring up someone else's life and their marital status, then guess what? All of your shit in return, your marital status, you know what I mean? The shit that you went through in your life, that's all fair game, dog. You open up that Pandora's box. So, and, and you got to you gotta live with those consequences. King of the dot, your girl knows all those dudes. She's seen all their cocks. We could battle up in Canada, right in your hometown. I'll let you pick the city and venue it goes down, and I promise I'll get a bigger applause than you. Lethal probably would. Because in hip hop, there ain't a bigger fraud than you. I went on tour with D12. Those dudes are my new friends. They showed me some video you made for Eminem. They told me they were in the studio with Slim when he watched it. He cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. It So that's, so one has to assume the video Lethal was talking about there that Tom made for Eminem had to be that song where Tom bought that beat off of Eminem and made that song for Eminem basically kissing his ass. And according to Mac, he was hanging with D12 in the studio and M was there <laughs> and M cut it off at the 30 second mark bruh let's find that I gotta hear that again let's find that back ain't a bigger fraud than you I went on tour with D12 those dudes are my new friends they showed me some video you made for Eminem they told me they were in the studio with Slim when he watched it he oh, okay so D12 was in the studio with Eminem he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in 
it, he cringed and he cut it off 30 seconds in. Bruh. <laughs> Eminem doesn't like you. He does not respect you. You made a love song. Oh, he don't like you. He don't respect you. Damn. Does not respect you. You made a love song about him begging him to peg you. Have you noticed that pub? He said, dog, he don't love you. He don't respect you. You made a love song begging him to peck you. <laughs> peg you. Damn. Damn. You. you made a love song about him begging him to peg you have you noticed that publicly he's never even mentioned it i'm sorry buddy i know that's not how you envisioned it you thought he'd call you like hey time it's slim shady you're so controversial how are you this crazy you want to make a song about how transgender men are pretend ladies and all the live ladies having mixed babies and how the mexican border is being invaded by woke palestinians causing inflation we'll call it white boys part 12 it'll be awful and Damn, dog. Damn. Oh, no. I paused it at the right time. Oh, shit. Worst song ever, White Boys Part 12. Oh, dog. Part 12, it'll be awful. And the Grammy goes to Eminem and Tom McDonald. I'm sorry that you didn't get to do a song with your hero. At least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro, the dude that... I'm sorry you didn't get to do a song with your hero, but at least you got to do a song with Ben Shapiro. Censored Candace Owens views quick, and he said that rap music isn't real music, and he tried to say... What he say? He censored Candace Owens' views? Is that what he said? Rode the dude that censored Candace Owens' views quick, and he said that rap music isn't real music, and he tried to say the pussies aren't supposed to get wet. That song was so controversial and over the edge. I'm kidding. Nobody cares about your facts or your feelings. You make music for people that storm the Capitol building. You make rap tunes. All right, I don't know about all that. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. So you make music for those who storm the Capitol buildings and all that. Yeah, I... I don't know. I don't know about that one, man. I'm, I'm gonna have to disagree with that one. White trash inbred people that snort crank in dirty ass gas station bathrooms. People that shoot AR 15s in classrooms that never heard of Nas Del Wu or Black Moon. You make music for people that hate black dudes. People that huff gas fumes, got barbed wire tattoos. People Damn. that say the N word while playing Call of Duty. People that buy a case of Bud Light just to shoot it. Okay, hold on. You say that he makes music for Kid Rock because Kid Rock was the one who took the Bud Light case and shot it up. Dog, come on, Mac. You had me up until, man, you, you made a little shot at Kid Rock, man. Come on now. Come on now. Incels that are terrified of sex and people that pay money to be verified on X. People that say, now normally I don't like rap, but this Tom McDonald dude is great because he ain't black. I rewrote this disc three times, kept throwing out the verses. Punch lines weren't cut and it needed substance and some purpose. I realized I needed to try to cut beyond the surface and instead of murdering you, maybe I could be of service. You constantly just brag about the ways you feel yourself. It's obvious you're losing your battle with mental health. Tried to fill the emptiness in your soul by getting wealth but the money fame louis and gucci it didn't help oh. you need to go to balenciaga and get a belt put it oh there we go call him out for the uh, balenciaga and everything around your neck kick out the stool then kill yourself you need to put a gun to your head then drill yourself because to yourself you've never revealed yourself i swear to god i know record label execs that managed you represented you brought you a couple checks shit so okay so we all so that's this is another one another person calling him out for working with some record executives record label executives i mean bruh because to yourself you've never revealed yourself i swear to god i know record label exec so i swear to god i know record label execs that managed you rep that managed you, represented you, and brought you a couple of checks. Dog. So, okay. Mac isn't the only one who claimed this. Ryan Upchurch claimed this. I know who else? somebody else claimed it too. I can't think of the name on the top of my head. But so far, we got two people now that, that I know for sure have claimed this, that supposedly have heard this. Presented you brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to? Wait, wait, wait. How, how he likes to what? Self. I swear to God, I know record label execs that managed you, represented you, brought you a couple checks. They told me all sorts of shit about you. How you like to? 
maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Oh, snap. I, I wonder. Oh, how I wonder, wonder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does he have a part two now? Ah, uh, bruh. Oh man, um, something told me that, that shit's about to get real. Uh, will Tom respond? Um, probably not. Wait, what's this? Tom McDonald God Mode Metal Remix? Really? Uh, why? Um, but anyway. <clears throat> so, it sounds like Lethal was going to go into some heavy, heavy allegations there. I don't know what those allegations are. I'm not going to speculate. Um... It all depends on what Tom does at this point. Does he respond? Does he not? I don't know. Like I said, man, when it comes to rap and hip hop, like I said, it's a contact sport. If I were Tom, I would respond. You know what I'm saying? But of course, you know, you're going to get Hog Fam, again, who are not real rap and hip hop heads, and they're going to make their arguments about numbers because they don't know anything else. Um, But I mean, dog. I mean, Lethal is a sizable artist. I mean, he has 2.8. Eight six million, like just a little shy of three million subs. Lethal has so if Tom don't respond to him, I mean, this is another artist who's bodied him. Ryan Up Church's body, Tom. Regardless of how I feel about Up Church now, I mean, I'm still not gonna change the fact, change my mind about the fact that yes, Up Church did body Tom. If Tom don't respond to Lethal, that would mean that Lethal has made the comeback and has body Tom. And Lethal's doing pretty well right now. I just gave this thing a like. He's sitting at 9.8K likes versus 3.9K dislikes. So more people are rocking with this diss track um, than not. So than those who are not. So I don't know, y'all. I mean, I think Tom should respond. I mean, you want you want to claim that you're a real rapper and all this and that, dog. And you, you about the shit. You you want to talk about you know dude's divorce his personal life and whatever in songs that are in in situations that have nothing to do with him, then I mean dude, you better be ready to step up to the plate, dog. And if you don't, then uh, yeah, you pretty much lose credibility as a rapper. So, I I wouldn't be surprised if Tom either doesn't respond or gives us another no response, shall we say? I mean I, I'm I'm just saying. But anyway. <clears throat> not not bad overall. I did enjoy the flow. I love the beat switch and everything. There was a few points here and there that I don't agree with that Lethal made. However, there were some things in the diss track that I do agree with. So, you know. And you guys know how I do, man. I'm not biased towards any parties whatsoever, and that includes Mac Lethal. So, yes. Overall, I will say, yes, it is a decent diss track. I do feel like it is worthy of a response. Like I said, he's got points that I agree with. He's got points I don't agree with, but hey, the man is allowed to say his piece. You know what I mean? He's allowed to have his views, his opinions, regardless if I agree with them or not. You know what I mean? And either way, I, I respect it. And I respect where he's coming from on this one. You know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, I feel like this is a very similar situation to what Adam Calhoun was in. Because, yeah, Lethal, in, in his defense, has been minding his own business. You know what I'm saying? He hadn't said anything, um, as far as I know, about Tom since... Um, what was it like now five years ago now you know what i mean when they had their, their, their little battle but tom is the one that kept going on and kept kept talking about that one battle that that he won and obviously i mean of course that's the one battle that he won so obviously that's gonna be the only battle that he's gonna keep talking about and so hog fam y'all need to get, get over yourselves but if your boy is willing to talk about other people's personal lives you know what i'm saying especially things that are public record like marital status and all that then guess what Tom's marital status is up, is, is fair game. Nova is also fair game, you know what I'm saying? Since, again, you know, Lethal's ex-wife was, was brought up. And since Nova is also an artist, so she's not completely helpless either. And it's just words at the end of the day. So don't, so how are you going to call yourself a Tom fan, right? When Tom's pro 1A and Tom keeps saying, you know, words are not supposed to hurt your feels and everything. When you're going to get all uppity, all up in your feels over some words. Make that make sense. I'm just saying. It's battle rap. It's diss track season. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you, you're either built for it or you're not. You know, there's no in between. There's no fence sitting. There's no, oh, it doesn't bother you when it's convenient for you. Oh, but then it does bother you at times when it's convenient for you. Nope. You're either bothered by it or you're not. Either way. But anyway, 
get off my soapbox and everything. And I'm only saying because I'm sick and tired of hearing stuff like, oh, you know, there's no rules um, unless this or that or whatever. No, in this track season, in battle rap, there's no rules, period. No holes barred. It's rough. It's raw. You know what I'm saying? It's rugged. You know what I'm saying? It's mean. It's not friendly. It's not polite. It don't care about your, your fifis. It is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Go watch some battle rap. Okay, y- y'all. A lot of y'all spend all, all day on YouTube anyway. Go watch some battle rap videos. Go see for yourself how battle rap works. It is not kind. It is not friendly. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's just words. And words. And make no mistake, words should not hurt any more than a switchblade. Pretty sure I just said that not too long ago in a song myself. I'm just saying. Anyway, all right, y'all. Yeah, I'm with it. I dig it. If y'all do too, y'all know the deal. Go feel free to hit up that link in the description down below if you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit up all the other links if you're interested. Don't forget my new album, uh, Welcome to My Madhouse, is now available. I got to ship out a couple of copies because uh, I did get one order. And then uh, a friend of mine is going through some hard times, so I'm hooking her up uh, with a copy. And uh, yeah. All right, y'all. And don't forget links for like clothing items, all that available. If, again, if you're interested, if not all the way good, just don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe, especially if you're new and you're digging the vibes. That'd be very much appreciated. Your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to do that. Please say what's up to me. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're yeah. sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!